I'm here with Matthew Morano showing his newest collection during New York Fashion Week, presentation style, which is what so many of the designers are doing right now. Hi, Matthew. Hi there, thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having us. And I wanted to ask you, number one, how many shows have you done for Fashion Week? I know you've been showing since 2012, right? I would say, in total, we've probably done about eight shows, which is crazy because uh, it, to be here tonight, it feels like it was just yesterday that we first started, and now it's it's amazing that we've made it this far, and we're still in business, and we've been in business for five years, and it's going really, really well. I'm really proud. Well, you started very young. You started a capsule collection at 19. It's been very, very popular since. What does it mean to you to show each year doing New York Fashion Week? It's the ultimate compliment that everybody will have me. I think it's so amazing that I get so much support from the Fashion Week people, from Christina Nall here at Pier 59, from all of these insiders that are just treating me with the most grace and the most, uh, you know, it's just amazing, it's amazing. And let me ask you about the way Fashion Week has evolved, because you've been in it for a number of years, and everyone used to be more in one location, now it's all over the city. Does it allow you to really create more of your own environment? It really does, and I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of the whole thing. It really allows me to be me. It allows me to take a space that I found and make it exactly what I want it to be, just like behind us. I mean, we've recreated a desert scenery and put live turtles in here, and you wouldn't necessarily have been able to do that when everybody was showing together at once. And uh, I just think it's, it's more personalized, and, and that's what makes for great artistry. Well, I love this new collection, and it was inspired evidently by your travels to Egypt. Can you tell us about that? That was one of the most amazing experiences that I've ever had. It was my third time to Egypt, and I went with my family of 26 people. So, you know, all my dad's brothers and sisters and, you know, my mom's side, and we all traveled together because we love each other so much. And uh, we were there, and we were in the desert, and I was feeling the wind kind of flowing around me, and I said, I'm imagining the most beautiful gowns right now in the most beautiful colors with the most beautiful lines. And that, that's where the whole thing came from. You can see all the twisting constructions that kind of flow around the body. And it's as if I've taken the air, which was transparent, and made it opaque so that you could see how the wind was actually flowing around you. And I know that you use some amazing fabrics from all over the world, even though your inspiration was from Egypt. Can you tell us a little bit about the fabric? We use a lot of custom fabric. So we'll develop a fabric with one of our mills in France or one of our mills in Italy. And uh, I'm just really good friends with the owners and we make amazing things. Uh, many of the fabrics that you're seeing here tonight are actually exclusive to the brand. So nobody else has these fabrics. And once it goes to retail, they fly off the shelves because they're so different and so unique. Speaking of different and unique, what is the most unusual material you have ever used in one of your designs? Oh, wow. This is a great question. I've used uh, beetle wings. I've used meteorites. I've used all sorts of really crazy things because there is a sort of grandiose quality about Matthew Murano. You know, we are a fashion brand, but there is a real theatricality to the whole energy of the collection that sometimes I want to use materials that feel... Uh, different and rare and like you're never going to see another piece of fashion made out of this. Well, I think that one of the things that every woman appreciates if she's investing in something that is special is to really have it be something you're not going to find anywhere else. Those pieces definitely qualify. But I know that you have recently opened some stores. Can you tell us about those? We have just opened the wholesale business about two seasons ago. It was mostly celebrity and private client before, and we've opened up you know, more than uh, 10 or 15 boutiques in the last uh, couple of months, which is amazing. And I'm so overwhelmed with the, the great response that we're getting, and I'm so grateful. And uh, you know, we sell in uh, Hugo Nicholson in Canada, she's also in Paris. Uh, we sell um, all over the United States, in LA, in, in uh, Chicago. Uh, mostly international though, the Middle East, that sort of grandiose woman that wants something that's over the top and different. So are the pieces in the retail stores exactly the same as the pieces in your atelier? Sometimes. Mostly they're the same because we try to make something that feels wearable so that you can see it on the runway or see it uh, during the presentation and then you can actually buy that piece. So we usually like to kind of straddle the line between something that's editorial and something that's wearable. And that's why I think a lot of the editors love it, why the, why the retailers love it, why the celebrities love it, and I'm just so grateful that everybody's so supportive. 
So let me ask you the range from your most affordable piece to your most unbelievable investment piece ever. Do you know a ballpark on the range of prices that we're talking about? I do. So if you want something that is on the lower end, like a dress can be a, a $1,200, $1,300 dress if it's something quite simple, always in a beautiful fabric, but something that feels more wearable. And then if you, we actually did one gown one season that retailed for $80,000 and it was all embroidered by hand. We had taken these stones and we had wrapped the stones in leather and that process took so many, so many hours that the labor was so intense that the, the retail price was so high and uh, it just made for an amazing moment during the show. And then it was, on the, it was our first cover of one of the magazines, uh, so it was great. Why do you think fashion is important? What do you think it adds to our lives? I think that it adds confidence and bravery and power. I think that a lot of women want to feel beautiful and when you feel beautiful, you can make things happen. I always say that there's nothing that's impossible and you can do anything that you need to do in life. And I think wearing the correct thing changes the way that you walk, that you talk, the way that you interact with others. And that's why fashion is so important to me because I can make a dress for my sister and she can feel the best that she's ever felt. And uh, it, it's just cool to see how she interacts with others when she's wearing an evening gown like this. It just makes her really confident. Well, the collection is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming.